Hello everybody and welcome to another Jarrison Time informational video. In the following video, we'll be looking at how to add or remove devices from an access group. Once we've logged into Jarrison Time, we'll head over to Access, find on the menu bar, and then onto Access Groups. In the new window, we'll see that we have multiple access groups on the left hand side. From here, we will decide on which access group we want to edit during today's example. We're going to start off with the factory turnstile. On this access group, what we're going to be doing is removing devices. In this case, we're going to be taking off the perimeter turnstiles. Once done, we'll then click on save. After that, we're going to be adding devices. So let's go through to maintenance. And on the maintenance access group, we are going to be adding the factory TNA and the factory turnstile. When we are done with that, we can click on save once again. From here, we will then click on close. As we click on close, we'll see that there is a message that pops up that tells us to make the changes take effect. You will need to send all employees to the affected devices. So from here, we're going to click OK and move on to resending the employees. For us to be able to do this, we will then click on the access tab once again and devices. Once here, we will work with the devices that we have added or deleted to our access groups. In today's example, we know we worked with the factory TNA device. We're then going to select the device and click on the Thunderbolt. Once we've clicked on the Thunderbolt, we see our very first option is send all employees. We're going to click on that and a message box will appear. We see that it is asking us if we are sure and we have two buttons at the bottom saying include or exclude. If we use the include button, we are including employees that do not have any templates. If we use the exclude button, we are excluding the employees that do not have any templates. In today's example, we're going to be using the include button. We're going to be clicking on that and those employees will start sending to that device. Then from there, we're going to go through to one of the perimeter turnstile devices. We're going to click on that, click on the Thunderbolt once again. And here we see we have two different options. Both still send all employees, but one by one is the one option and all at once is the other option. This is due to different device models having different options. So for the following example, we're going to then be using our send all employees all at once option. And once we click on that, a message box will appear. In this message box, we see that it is also warning us. The send all at once is not recommended over a WAN. In today's case, we will be using this option. If it is that you are using a WAN, on your set device that you have added or deleted. What we will be doing is then just making sure to be using the other option, the one by one option. From here, we can then click on OK, and that will then start sending those employees once again. After that, we will click the close button. But from there, also please note when sending employees, it could take some time due to the number of employees that will need to be sent to each device per the allocated access groups. That will be all for the video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.